everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play One Punch Man, the strongest on PC, using the amazing Bluestax 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install One Punch Man, the strongest and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestax 5 which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play One Punch Man the strongest. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else buddies, to get started we have to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL that I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type that URL, simply because there's the clickable link in the video description and the first main comment. After clicking on this link, we reach the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will load to play One Punch Man the strongest on the PC. It is now obvious that we have some advantages of using the emulator. Then, we are ready to start downloading the One Punch Man the strongest by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It is a file we have to execute. The following step is to launch the installer, OK, then we have to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the computer. We click yes. I reduce the web browser to find the installer better. The installation software is pretty simple. It consists of a couple of options, install and setup path. I will show you what setup path does indeed. We purely simply click on it. Therefore we note that we have here the path where the emulator is going to be placed. If we would like to vary this folder we have got to click on that, browse, option, so we opt for another directory and install the emulator wherever we wish. I prefer to leave it where it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I pick install. Fantastic. The install begins and it will commence together with the download of those MB which are represented on our computer screen. The moment you download it, it is likely to be a little bit more or less megabytes. The download rate will go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your internet and according to the efficiency of the emulator web servers. At the moment they're working superbly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate eco mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator has actually been started automatically. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, there is a progress bar that will move forward to the right then when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator can be started for the very first time. The fact is that the emulator has been launched, there for the first time. Before we continue on, as now you can see, it has made a couple of app icons here on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is going to be the one we are concerned about. When we would like to start One Punch Man the strongest on our PC, we double click on this app icon and therefore use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me conduct the next step, that is a requirement, and this is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. To execute this, we will browse here to System Apps, we click. And we are going to just click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is presented, right here we have to sign in. Currently once we are there, we must definitely perform this next phase that is definitely compulsory. Therefore mouse click on, sign in. At present it announces, checking info. It could sometimes get stopped at, checking info, and this fails to advance. In this case, you may try to log in in after a couple of hours and it may quite likely be sorted out. At present we're going to enter our email address and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address as well as its associated password. For instance you can utilize the same exact email you're using at this moment in your YouTube account. Then I am going to provide my details and I will revisit as soon as I have accomplished it. That's all, info entered. Find out Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We can approve them all by just clicking, I agree. Then, it allow us to save to the Google Cloud. 
You can keep it checked and this will make a backup of your data files on that device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can use that option if you prefer. We just click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started by default and completely on its own. To install the video game, we have got to browse the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on that app icon designated green colored. Currently that we are discovering the desktop of the emulator for Android, we observe that we have now right here the install application option. We click or double-click on that button. At this point we have got the game. Let's click on now on the install choice that I am just showing now in green color. This will commence the installation. At this point it is going to download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game app. It typically takes quite some time or perhaps it may possibly be almost immediate. It all varies on our connection to the internet. It's already ended setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing this particular button that I'm emphasizing in green, if you want to start One Punch Man the strongest for the first time. I am by then on the emulator desktop, and therefore we are preparing to just click that fresh One Punch Man the strongest app icon that has been provided. Your game app is launched for the first time. Currently there we get it. I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to talk about the volume level of the emulator. This is here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we are not going to use the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. As well as to appreciate the experience to the maximum, we can activate the big screen, for which we have two choices. That is simply the first one, we mouse click on that icon which I'm identifying in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. If ever we would like to enjoy the video game using all the screen, we hit this particular game icon. And we might at present be enjoying the gameplay in full screen setting. To quit the 100% screen functionality, click the F11 key. And we might at present be in standard computer screen setting. From now, I am choosing to show you the computer keyboard mapping that is definitely quite useful. That step we will likely be ready to operate the game more effortlessly. The very first task is to click on this app icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to make the required controls. I'll go ahead and put the normal settings, though if you really want to improve this, you may well do so without having problem. Obviously, the emulator is entirely in our language. In certain cases it happens that your emulator is started in the improper language, for instance, in Mandarin. And as a result to set it up in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. And thus right here inside of other configuration settings, we simply click on the language drop down. We may very well go with the language we prefer, Italian, Mandarin, and so on. As soon as the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, and also the Android game, the next time we start it, would of course be in the selected language. Presently, you can find another detail that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will get a message from Google telling that a completely new electronic device has been connected with our own Google account. It will definitely check with us if we are the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Absolutely, we may not worry, considering the fact that emulator is acting as an Android device. And in order to find which device is being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. So we browse here to the, model, option, and right here we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for the training. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, specifically that everyone thought it was informative. If that is so, bring it a superb like, subscribe to my channel, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, requests or suggestions, put them in the comment field below. Simply click any of these online videos which are usually appearing on the screen and let's have fun again in the upcoming training videos. Bye!